What is up? Welcome back to our brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys how to complete the Hybrid Nations Squad Builder Challenge on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. So this one, overall, you get a rare Mega Pack reward and from each of the four individual challenges, you get a Premium Gold Players Pack, which is decent, another Premium Gold Pack, you get a Prime Gold Players Pack, which is a 45k pack, and also a Mega Pack to end it off. So I think these are worth it, especially when the game comes out, all players and packs are worth quite a lot. So we're going to get into the squads right now. The first one here is quads. And I'm going to say this now, for most of the challenges or my like solutions for these, you will need loyalty. So that is actually if you've played 10 games on the player or you have packed the player. This squad, you don't need the loyalty, but for some of the other ones, you might need that. So my squad here, in goal, we have Cardinale. In the defense, we have Da Silva, Julian, Dante. In the right mid, well, right wing position, we have Vaquez. And in the middle is Barg, Fred, and Fernando. And in the left mid position, we have Mike on here. So linking up to up top to finish the squad off, we have Voland in the left striker. And we have Soldado in the right striker position. And that's our first squad complete. Quads done. And we get a decent pack from that one. Rare gold players pack. Hopefully, we pack some decent players to make some big profit back from these SPCs. Because they don't cost much. Most of these are just my pack pool players. They're not really worth too much. Maybe some of the players are worth up to 3,000 coins, but it's pretty cheap. So this one, the six, you need six nationalities, two from the same league. Pretty much, I've just done a couple of strong links with the leagues. I've gone for like the Spanish League, the German League, and the Premier League. So I'll go through the squad here. In goal, we have Fernandez. Right back is Jung. And in the middle, we have Heinz and Yure. And then in the left back position is Olsen. So going through the middle of the team, in the right mid position we have Calgary, and in the middle we have Jakob, Escalante, and in the left mid is Al Brighton. Up top are two strikers, we have Okaka, and then our left striker position we have Charlie Austin. So that is our squad complete, the six, premium gold pack for that one. Again, decent reward, not too expensive since most of the squad is non-rare players, so that one is alright. And this squad, it takes eight. So this one, stepping up again. Eight nationalities, max two from the same league. We need five rares for this one and 88 chemistry. So in goal, I've gone for Saar, Portuguese link there. Right back position is, Vras I don't know how to say his name. I'm just going to leave that. We have Samodo in the middle, Navarro in the other centre back and Gaia in the left back position. You probably could swap Gaia, but I already had him pack pulled. It's just like a rare Spanish left back. Then across the middle, we have Budabez, Zuratuza. And Rajogda. Well, I think I said his name completely wrong. But that's all good. And then up top, we have the French League link-ups here with Traore, German, and Baudiao. So that is the squad there. It takes eight. Completed. And now there's only one more challenge for us to finish the Hybrid Nations. You can see for this squad, I've gone all Premier League because we need 10 different nationalities, 100 chemistry, and 80 team ratings. So you need some decent players. I recommend picking a league and then just going for different nationalities in that league. And the Premier League, we have all the nationalities. Pretty easy one this way. So we have Ryan Ingall, and the right back is Simpson. Across the middle, we have Reed, Williams, and Jagielka. And then left back, I have Mendy. So across the middle, we have a CDM of Romulo and Kalasin in the centre mid. And then going up top, we have Zaha on the right, Rondon in the middle, and Chupa Moteng in the left mid position. You could swap Zaha, because I think he's actually worth quite a few coins due to his pace, but you still need a rare player there with a different nationality. And that one is done. National Pride completed. And there we have it, Hybrid Nations score boot. So we get that rare mega pack. In hope to get us some decent pack pools, maybe the bad record will help me get better packs. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. So I'm going to start off with the premium gold pack. This one, I believe, is a 15k pack. So nothing too good. Oh, no, 7.5k pack. Sorry, not even a 15k pack. It's a rare player. No border. And who is it? Felipe Anderson, 92 pace. He might go for a little bit. I'll just store him in the club, though, because I'll use most of these players in future SBCs. Anyway, then we'll go over into the premium gold players pack. So this one, all players, free rare. It could be something good. It's a border. Come on. Who do we get? Who is it? Germany. Centre mid. Man City. That is good. Gundogan. 85 rated. Is he a walkout? No, he isn't. But he's an 85 rated player. And he should go for a lot. Premier League with those stats. An 85 centre mid. Come on. How much is he worth? Gundogan. Um, 25k, 30k. I'd say about 30,000 coins. That's pretty much paid 
for both of the SBCs I've done already. So decent pack pull there. I might even keep it for my squad because those stats look sick for a centre mid. These two cards, I'll probably just discard them. Probably not worth too much. So we've already made our money back and made profit from this SBC. I'm going to go into the mega pack now. Lots of items in this one. The consumables actually sell for a lot, especially if I get some good chemistry styles. So let's have a look. Who are we going to get in this one? Anybody? And Korea? Nope. Pickford, not really the best. Chemistry stars, we've got some fitness cards. Some of those position modifiers. I think left wing to left mid sells for quite a bit as well. But now, I'm going to head into the prime gold players pack. The rare players pack got us something good. So hopefully this one can beat it. It's a border. Come on. Who do we get? It is... Oh, centre mid. Wait a minute. That's Keita, 83. I thought he would be a slightly higher rating, but due to his league... I'm not sure. Well, Bundesliga, I guess. He might go for a bit. I know last FIFA he was worth quite a lot. His inform cards. Uh, 5,000 coins. That's all right. We got Nani as well. So that was two border players in one pack. If Nani would have showed up, though, it would have given us the Portugal trout. So Nani, yeah, we'll list him up there on the transfer market. We got Lanzini as well and Carius. Those both sell for a bit since they're Premier League players. So those are decent packs so far. But the last one, rare mega pack. Come on, EA. Give me an inform or an icon card. Just another border and I'll be happy. And nope. No border, but it could be somebody all right. Still in the pack. Fernandinho. There we go. He should be worth a bit with those stats. Everything like seven. Yeah, he's worth 8,000 coins at least. That's a decent pack, Paul. We've got some more Premier League players in there. Squad fitness cards. They will sell for a bit as well. we got Lukaku. It's not the right Lukaku, but we've still packed Lukaku. So from those pack pools... I'd say I probably got about 50,000 coins back, to be honest. Probably even more than that if I sold every single card. So those were worth it, personally. Jump in the comment section down below what you get in your packs. And I will show you guys how to do the other Advanced Squad Builder Challenge very, very soon. But on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next video.